don't get too close to the fire I might get burned a little but I don't mind I need your love baby I need you you've got those rosy lips you've got that smile I can't contain it honey you drive me wild I need your love baby I need you He wears his beanie every single day. And, and and I'm telling you, if that thing gets misplaced, it's a nightmare because he won't let us get in the bed until he has it. I mean, it, it's... How old, how old your son? He's he's 10, about the... Oh, well. He and I are on about the same level psychologically, you know, so... <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, man, I was... Uh, I had your uh, latest single on repeat last night. I love... I know you hung the moon. Oh man, thank you so much. It, it's uh it was a pleasure cutting that song, you know, and more than that, I mean it was it was very special, you know, for mm -hmm. the, obvious, the obvious reason that Toby Keith wrote it and and we were friends and he had asked me a couple of years ago, you know, if I would record it. If I liked it enough to record it. I said, Are you kidding me? And so um, you know, we 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 got it done and and he got to hear it before he passed away and oh um, wow he loved it and so you know it, the best thing about it to me though is that you know, i think fans have been expecting you know a record from me that that had that 90s country sound to it and this one certainly nailed that spot you know so <laughs> I feel like we, we delivered okay. something that they've been wanting for a while and so you know we're hearing that from them as well so you'd already okay. So you were, had already recorded it. Yeah, this wasn't uh, post his uh, passing. No, no. I, oh, I, recorded wow. it. I recorded it just before he passed, and man, and we we have the same manager. So I'd I'd asked mm -hmm. I'd asked TK if if he had gotten to hear it, and he said, "Yeah." He goes, "He loved it." And oh wow, that's special. Yeah, and he knew I was recording. Toby and I were texting. It was so weird, you know, to to see him pass like that. And and because just 10 days before he passed, we were texting and, you know, joking and, and having some fun. And anyway, I mean, you know, we, we, we all miss him. And, and, uh, but this is a really yeah. nice piece, you know, of, of uh, everybody that mm -hmm. knew, knew Toby, you know, was affected by him and he was had a per very big personality and, uh, you know, each person had their own, you know, special memory. And this was a really good one for me. Man. And I feel like, uh, um, knowing that you recorded it and he got to hear it. I, I feel like that song was tailor made for a clay Walker voice. <laughs> well, he actually said that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> That's all. He actually said those exact words. So it's, it's crazy, you know, because, uh, most of us, we know the hits of different artists and you know, I know all Toby's hits. Yeah. Obviously, and 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 uh, we were backstage one after a show one night, and he started singing this song. And uh, I said, "What is that?" He said, "He goes, it's it's one of my songs I wrote with uh, Scotty Emmerich." And and I said, uh, mm. "Why did why have you never released that as a single?" And he's like, "Man, he goes, I wanted to. We 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 got you know we went on to the next album, and." Uh, I said, man, it sounds like a George Strait song. He goes, that's mm. like a Clay Walker song to me. <laughs> so that's, that's not that happened. Oh. <laughs> hey, Toby's he's he's smiling right now, knowing that uh that uh that you just said that, I'm sure. That's that's cool. Yeah, well, um yeah. I had Mark Miller on back in December, and the next day he told me he was flying out to Vegas to watch uh Toby's one of his last shows that he was performing out there. So he was, he was talking about the, the man he was too, that people didn't normally get to see just what a good guy he was. So. I can't, I can't say enough good things about him, you know, and I did not have a record deal, you know, four or five years ago, Toby signed me to show dog and uh, they did oh, wow. a good job promoting me and, you know, got three singles charted. And I mean, mm -hmm. That kind of thing is, 
you, you know, that's he had to pay money for that, you know. So yeah, somebody somebody can tell you one thing, but when they take their checkbook out and start writing checks for yeah. you, that's a different kind yeah. of thing. And uh, you know, um, uh, he's just like, and he did so much for so many people that nobody will ever even know about, right. you know. Um, plus, what he did for cancer for kids and yeah. you know, in Oklahoma and, and uh, what he's done for the University of Oklahoma and for OSU. I mean, like he, he anyway, his philanthropy was, it was known among his close friends, you know, right. but he never bragged about it. And, and, uh, you know, mm. most people don't know it, but, you know, Dolly Parton is probably the richest country singer and mm. Toby. Toby Keith would be be second or right there with her. I mean, that, that's most people don't know, you know? <laughs> but but I'll say it. <laughs> that's that's cool. <clears throat> that's cool. It's it's like a, a scripture in the New Testament it says something about a don't don't let your you know do your deeds you know without people knowing. And I feel like he fit the bill with that perfectly because you're the second person that's told me that. He he did fit that bill. Uh, you know, he was he was bigger than life, you know, in person and in his personality. And um we you know, he was really funny too. And uh, he, he liked to aggravate you, you know, like he he would he would he would find something to get under your skin with, you know. And, and there was a I won't name any names, but there was one, and I didn't even know he knew this, but there was, you know, there's always one entertainer that that everybody's kind of got a little bit of a beef with or, or something. And he knew, yeah. I don't know how he knew, but he would give me, he would, he would, he knew how to get that needle in me. When we, you know, <laughs> and, uh, you know, you, you knew better to mess with me because he was so big and, you know, and, and, uh, you know, he grew up a roughneck in the oil field and, mm -hmm. and also played semi-pro football and, Mm -hmm. you, you wouldn't wanted to tackle him by yourself, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I'd give it back, you know. Man, I, I'd give oh, it back. Oh yeah. But, but that's, also, that's... he was very religious, you know. And then I don't. I think that's something most people don't mm -hmm. know. It's, 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 he was. He was very religious, mm -hmm. and we kind of had a yeah. couple of conversations. So I know where he is today. You know, that's uh, yeah, we know. A good feeling. Uh, um. That's awesome to hear, man. Uh, um, switching subjects, I just saw this about 20 minutes ago. Uh, just about oh, it was last month, I was up in Pigeon Forge at a uh, North American Hall of Fame for country music, and I got to uh, – I had a part in it, and Mr. Randy Travis uh, was there. Uh, you're lucky. And, uh, <laughs> you're lucky you got I, to see that. <laughs> oh, I, I, you know, I don't get starstruck. And but for me to be in it's something about just being in the presence of just a, a legend and icon like that just really was special. He was so gracious, so sweet. And uh, but the uh, it, it's just cool because the bus. I lose you. No, you got me. Uh, the bus uh, that he had brought up there was one of yours. Well, you know, back to that Toby thing. You know, some that I would I would never say. I appreciate you bringing that up. I didn't know you knew that. I wasn't gonna say anything about yeah. that. Well, they but, didn't announce it or anything, but somebody yeah, Randy, admitted it to me. Well, I, you know, Randy Travis is is the most iconic country singer that's ever lived, and mm. uh, the fact that you got to be there for that, I wished I could have been. He and his wife Mary, you know, have become close friends of mine, and and they've come to a few concerts. And I will tell you this: when Randy Travis wheels, you know, he's in a wheelchair, he wheels yep. him to the stage. Yep, the place loses their ever loving minds. I like, mean, it, it, you you think it's you know you think Elvis or the Beatles came back? <laughs> I, I, I agree. <laughs> I got chill bumps on the to tell you that, but I love him so much and that the music he made. You know, look, there there's some super iconic singers, you know, that are that are great. No, no. There's nobody that I, I don't think anybody has ever affected country music the way that Randy Travis has. Mm, that's a big statement. I love that. 
I love that. And I, I did. I saw the I saw the Elvis crowd stand up multiple times when he was out there. <laughs> I got to witness it. That's so um, good. Well, Clay, thank you so much for uh, giving me this time. I really did enjoy it. And uh, I appreciate what you do. I've always been a huge fan. And uh, I, I just I, I continue to cheer, be a cheerleader for you, your success. And uh, I believe you go down. You have a legacy yourself. Uh, so just always believe that, you know, you are an icon. And um, so we, we, we value what you've done for the industry. Brett, you just you made my day. I, I'm I'm totally humbled by it. And, uh, you know, and, and, and I do believe that God has some more things left, you know, for me to do and to accomplish. Yep. I don't know what they are, but, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm at the ready and, uh, thank you for this, this interview. And, and I hope that I get to do many more with you. I hope yeah. that you come back and, and, and whenever we have new music, you know, Oh we, yeah. I'd love to do this again, man. Where, where, oh, yeah. where, where, where do you live? Hi, uh, near Hiawassee, Georgia. It's okay. up in North Georgia mountains, Blairsville. So, wait, do you have a Mount Rushmore? Who would you put it on it? Oh, for country music? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. Well, I think you got to go Haggard, Jones, Randy Travis, and Keith Whitley. Mm, that's awesome, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I, I'll close with this. I'm producing a documentary on Jesse Keith right now. Me and him are good buddies. Oh, wow. And, uh, so he's, it's, it's really neat to hear some stories from him as well. So thank you so much for sharing that. Thank you. We'll talk soon. Have a great one, man. Thank you. Man. All right. Bye-bye.